uh, let us proceed to case 2. So, sa case 2 naman, mag-isang second function and cos second function wherein ang they are raised or yung kanilang power ay positive even integer. Okay? Even integer yung n and n for uh, second. So, sa case 1, mag-isang tangent and cotangent. So, either even or odd ang power. But yung case 2 naman, si second and cos second. Okay, mag-isang cosecant, mag-isang second, raised to a positive even integer. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? So, ang technique dyan ay uh, isave uli natin, okay? Mag-save uli tayo ng second squared u for second. And then, for cosecant, cosecant squared u. Kasi ito, hindi natin siya papalitan. Yung squared na function na finactor out natin, Okay, hindi natin siya papalitan ng identity. Siya kasi yung magiging pang ano natin, pang DU natin do sa power formula. Okay, siya yung magiging pang DU natin. So, uh, standby lang siya. Ngayon, ang tirang factors for ano ba, for second raised to n, yung natirang factors doon which is a multiple of 2 kasi kapag even multiple of 2, yun yung papalitan natin ng identity. For tangent ay for second I mean, for second squared, papalitan natin siya ng tangent squared plus u. For cosecant squared, papalitan natin siya ng cotangent squared plus 1. Okay, ulitin ko. Kap yung sa second, papalitan natin siya ng second squared kasi magiging multiples of 2 yan. So, papalitan natin yung second squared ng tangent squared u plus 1. Kapag naman cosecant squared papa or cosecant raised to uh, power multiple of 2, papalitan natin yung cosecant squared, factor out natin in terms of uh, power of 2, and then papalitan natin ng cotangent squared u plus 1. Okay? So, yung second squared na sinave natin, susulat mo lang yan, dyan lang siya, kasi pang du natin siya doon sa power formula. So, para mas malinaw, solve natin ng example 1. So, this is cosecant raised to 6x dx. This is mag-isang cosecant na nakaraise sa positive na even integer. So, ang first step is factor out, save na yung isang squared. Ayan, save na yung cosecant squared x dx. So, ang natira, cosecant uh, raised to 4x. Ayan, itong save na yan. Yun yung pang du natin. And then, kailangan i-represent natin siya, factor out ulit in terms of multiples of 2. Ayan siya. Ko second squared x dx. So, ito muna niyan ang igagalawin natin, i-evaluate natin. So, palitan natin ng identity yung ko second squared x ng, ano yung identity natin? Tangent for ko second, that is ko tangent squared x plus 1, tapos squared ko second squared x dx. Tapos ito, expand natin siya. So, expand natin, ko tangent squared x raised to 2, so 4 na yon, plus 2 times cotangent squared x times 1, so cotangent squared x. Ano yan? Square up binomial, no? And then plus 1 raised to 2, so 1. So that is multiplied by, ito, save lang natin, cosecant squared x dx. Madidistribute lang yan mamaya. Ayan. So, ulitin ko, this is a square of binomial. So, square mo yung first term. Uh, cotangent squared x, that is cotangent raised to 4 x. Wait lang, ayos ko lang. 4, ayan. And then, yung middle term natin, cotangent squared x times 1 times 2. Kaya, cotangent squared x times 2 yan. And then, yung last term, squared mo lang. Ayan. And then, kopyahin pa yung natitirang cosecant squared x dx. And then, ito, i-distribute natin. Okay? So, meron na kayong hint na yung u natin is cotangent. Ang n natin sa first term raised to 4, second term raised to 2. Tapos yung du natin is cosecant squared x dx. Okay? Tama ba? Ang derivative ng cotangent ay, ayun, derivative ng cotangent ay negative cosecant squared u du. So, introduce na lang tayo ng negative mamaya. So, distribute natin. First term, cotangent raised to 4x multiplied by second squared x dx plus 2. Ayan. Nabas na natin sa integral sign. Cotangent raised to 2 x and then multiplied by 
cosecant squared x dx. And this is the last term natin is plus integral of cosecant squared x dx. Ayan. So, na-distribute na natin. So, i-analyze muna natin siya for our first and second term para dito. Ayan. Para dyan. Ang n natin sa first term ay 4. Ito naman, ang n natin ay 2. Raised to 2 siya. Pero ang u natin for both term, u natin ay cotangent x. Nama? Ang derivative ng cotangent x ay negative cosecant. Ito na pala nakalagay. Negative cosecant squared x dx. Ayan. Negative cosecant squared x dx. Ayan. So, ang kulang natin dito, introduce tayo ng negative 1. Negative 1. Nalagay tayo ng negative 1 over 1 or that is negative 1 ulit. Ito din, nalagay tayo negative 1 over 1. Tapos, introduce kasi tayo ng negative 1. Ayan. Kulang. Kailangan natin introduce ng negative kasi kailangan may negative siya. And then, dito naman sa last term. Sa last term natin, integral of cosecant. We have integral of cosecant squared u du. Ano yung integral of cosecant squared u du? That is cotangent u. Negative cotangent u plus c. The integral of cosecant squared u du is negative cotangent u. So, lahat tayong problema sa last term. Ang x mo kasi dito, ang u mo kasi dito ay x, ang du mo ay dx. So, okay siya. Kompleto u is x, du is dx. So, wala tayong dadagdag. Dito lang. Yan, ilagay ko na. So, ang sagot natin ay negative 1, negative 1. Okay, ang u natin ay cotangent. So, siya lang yung dadagdagan natin. Cotangent, 4 plus 1 is 5, x over 5. Tama. Tapos, plus, plus 2. Tapos, again, tutus tayo din ng negative 1 times cotangent raised to 2. So, cotangent raised to 2 plus 1 plus 3 siya over 3. Okay, plus ayusin natin to. Negative 1. I-write ko lang. Tapos ito ay plus. Plus ano yun? Negative cotangent x plus c. Ayan. And then we arrange. So, this is negative 1 over 5 cotangent raised to 5 x minus 2 thirds cotangent raised to 3 x minus cotangent x na C. So, that's it. Nakasimple. So, this is our answer for case 3. Ay, case 2.